Good morning, boys and girls. Our next few story times are, we're gonna visit the ocean. So try to stop and think of what you're gonna find in the ocean. Today's stories are going to be about fish. So keep thinking what you may have in the following weeks ahead. We're gonna have all kinds of different ocean animals. So our first one, like I said, is going to be about fish. And this one is called fidgety fish. If you fidget, that means you move around like this all the time. You can't sit still. Let's see. This is Tiddler. Tiddler was always fidgeting. He wiggled and he squiggled and he darted and he giggled until his mom got fed up with him. Go out into the sea and swim till you're tired. But watch out for the big fish, she said. So Tiddler swam out of his cave. He dived, then he flipped, then he leaped, then he dipped. He sped faster than a rocket and glided gently like a swan, letting the sea currents fan his fins. He still didn't feel tired. The sea was full of the most interesting things. There were limpets that clung, jellyfish that stung. There was a big, big starfish that didn't do much at all. Hello, said Tiddler, nudging the starfish gently with his nose. Starfish didn't answer. It didn't even move. A crab sidled by, clinging and clacking its little claws. Tiddler wanted to play with it, but the crab scuttled off and disappeared into the seaweed. Tiddler came to the big, dark cave. He looked much more exciting than he, the cave he came from. And Tiddler swam in. Should he have gone in that cave? No. Snap. Everything went dark. Tiddler was trapped inside the big fish. He trembled and he shivered and he shook and he quivered. Until the big fish's tummy began to feel very funny. It rumbled and it grumbled and it turned and it tumbled. It fluttered and it groaned and it mumbled and it moaned. Suddenly the big fish burped. Burp. Whoosh! Out shot Tiddler. He shot past the jellyfish, the clickety-clack crab hiding in the weeds, past the starfish, and straight through his own front door. I hope you used up all that energy, said his mom. You think he has? Let's see. But she would have to wait until morning to hear about his adventures because Tiddler was already fast asleep. I would say he used up all of his energy, wouldn't he? All right. Now, you know we always do five little monkeys teasing Mr. Crocodile or we do five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Well, today we're gonna do five little fishes teasing Mr. Shark, all right? So I don't have any little fish, so I'm just gonna hold up my hand, okay? And I've got my little shark here and he's gonna dive in to get the little fishy, okay? So are you ready? Five little fishy swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, wide 
as can be, and snaps that fishy right out of the sea. Four little fishy swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snaps that fishy right out of the sea. Three little fishy swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snaps that fishy right out of the sea. Two little fishy swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snaps that fishy right out of the sea. One little fishy swimming in the sea. Teasing Mr. Shark, you can't catch me. Along. Mr. Shark, quiet as can be, and snaps that fishy right out of the sea. Yay! Good job! All right, now let's do hooray for fish. All right, let's see what all kinds of fish we see. Hello, I'm a little fish swimming in the sea. I have lots of fishy friends. Come along with me. All right, let's see who we see. Hello, hello, fish. Red, blue, and yellow fish. Hello, spotty fish. Hello, stripey fish. Happy fish. Gripey fish. He looks angry, doesn't he? He's definitely not happy. One, two, three fish. How many can you see? How many fish do you think there's there? There's lots and lots of little fish, aren't there? You want to count them? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. All right. Hello, elfish. Shrimpy's kind of, you're small. 
All right, look at the pretty ocean. Inside the wide blue sea, there was a very clever fish named Shrimpy. You could not find a smarter fish. Right there. But Shrimpy was also very, very small. Shrimpy wanted to be, be like Big Al, but no one wanted to be friends with a tiny fish like him. So Shrimpy was lonely and he cried little salty tears into the big salty sea. One day all the fish said, let's play tag. Big Al said, me too, and Shrimpy said, yeah, me too. When the game started, Big Al was it. Big Al was fast, but he couldn't zig and he couldn't zag. He couldn't tag anyone except Shrimpy. Then Shrimpy was it. Shrimpy was too slow. He couldn't catch anyone, but Shrimpy was smart. He wanted to be in the right place, and then he tagged Big Al. All the other fish said, no fair. Shrimpy and Big Al are just tagging each other, so Big Al and Shrimpy had to leave the game. And that's when Big Al and Shrimpy became best of friends. For Shrimpy, it was great to have a big, strong friend. Shrimpy could fly through the water faster than ever before. Shrimpy always had plenty to eat, too. And Shrimpy went new places with Big Al. One day, Shrimpy and Big Al went to the edge of the big deep. Shrimpy had never seen the big deep before. The big deep was too scary. But now, with Big Al next to him, Shrimpy felt just fine. They went right up to the edge and looked over. It was dark in there. The big deep was down, down, down. Shrimpy said, could you push a rock down there, Big Al? Puffed himself up. Sure, I could just watch. Big Al pushed and pushed a big green rock. It flipped its tail and flapped its fin. The rock moved a little. Then it went over the edge. Big Al and Shrimpy listened. The rock rumbled down, down, down. Big Al pushed on a huge white rock. He flipped his tail and he flapped his fins. The rock moved a little and Big Al pushed harder. Then over the edge it went. But Big Al said, oh no, help! His fin was stuck in the crack of the rock. The rock went tumbling down into the big deep and Big Al went with it. He, Shrimpy was scared. He swam back to get all the other fish. Come quick, come quick. We have to help Big Al. All the fish came to the edge of the big deep. One fish said, we can't go down there, it's too deep and dark. Everyone was ready to give up. But not Shrimpy. He said, we have to help Big Al, and I know how. Halfway down in the big deep, it was almost dark. Big Al saw a fish, and all at once he didn't feel so big. He wanted to swim home to his friend, but he couldn't. 
His fan was still stuck and the white rock was caught on a big shell. If he pulled too hard, the shell might come loose. Big Al was scared. He did not want to go down deeper. And what if that giant fish got hungry? Suddenly, just above him, Big Al saw a light. The giant fish saw it too, and he swam away faster. The light came closer and closer and closer. It was a lantern fish and shrimpy. Shrimpy looked at the rock, and he looked at the shell, and he looked at Big Al's fin. Then Shrimpy gave some orders. Ten little fish held the shell, and ten little fish held the rock. Then Shrimpy and ten other little fish pulled on Big Al's fin. Pop! It came loose just in time. The white rock wobbled, and it tumbled down to the deepest part of the big deep. Then Shrimpy told everyone to turn around. The chain of fish swam up, 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 and Big Al followed Shrimpy, headed for home. There was a party that night. Everyone was happy that Big Al was safe. But the guest of honor was Shrimpy, the little fish with the big ideas. Look at all the fish. Shrimpy saved Big Al. Okay, boys and girls, see you next week.